The cosmic microwave background is very powerful because uh, it lets us observe the universe at a time shortly after the Big Bang where it was very simple. It's striking that the initial conditions of our universe are incredibly simple. To a physicist, one can write down the initial state of our universe in, say, half a page of algebra. The complication that we see around us, for example, the great varieties of galaxies and their detailed shapes, is all the result of complicated processes that have taken place since then. According to our current understanding, uh, the universe starts in a Big Bang state where the whole universe is so hot that everything is disassociated into a plasma that's very hot, very dense, with tiny ripples in the plasma that propagate over time. What happens as this plasma cools down, at a particular time, about 400,000 years after the Big Bang, things would become cold enough that neutral hydrogen can form. And uh, that is the moment when the cosmic microwave background is formed. We're looking at light from that era. As uh, cosmology has progressed, we've been able to understand earlier and earlier epochs in the universe's evolution. Historically, it's been sort of a process of peeling away layers of an onion. Every generation of physicists solves some old puzzles and finds some new ones. Now we're thinking about the moment at which the initial fluctuations of our universe were generated. It would be totally amazing if we figured that out.